Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to LSPDFR. Today we are doing Blaine County Sheriff. Let's go ahead and go 10-8 here. One Adam Six. Show me 10-8. All right. Okay. We are on patrol now. We'll start here at the U-Tool and head over towards Sandy Shores, Harmony. Oh, Road Rage right off the bat. One Adam Six. You can show me in route. All right, Roger that. We're got some road way. rage right off the bat, man. But uh, I hope you guys are having a good day so far. Happy to have you here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. I try to post daily. If I don't post, um, it's likely something's going on. Um, if you watched my video yesterday, you know our car broke down, and unfortunately, it's uh, going to be about almost two thousand dollars to fix. So I don't know what we're going to do. So, uh, the support is really much appreciated. If you want to, you know, subscribe and stick around and watch my other videos, that would be great. Okay. One out of six. Show me on scene. Uh, okay, we have, uh, they're all running from us, man. What the hell's going on here? I'm going to turn off, uh, tactics. Because otherwise they will run into them. We're going to have to get out and tase them. Uh, yeah, we need backup. Oh, I did not mean to hit the guardrail. We are off to a bad start. Hey, Blaine County Sheriff's Office, you're gonna get tased. No, don't even think about it, dude. He's gonna try to take that car. Nope, no, no, no. Shit. I got one now. He's got a weapon! Drop the weapon now! Drop the weapon! Get on the ground right now and drop the gun. You're gonna get tased, dude. There it is right there. Get on the ground. Drop the weapon. I'm gonna get, uh, get lethal out here. Get on the ground. Drop the weapon. Drop the gun right now. Put it on the ground right now. Yeah, you don't have to shoot me. I'm weak. All right, he's just going to hold the gun. What the heck? Usually they drop it. Okay, okay, he dropped it. Okay, the pistol has been added to our evidence box. They're going after the other guys. Um, what the hell are you thinking, dude? We get a call for road rage. There's obviously an accident back there with that taco truck and two other vehicles. Um... Let's get his ID out of his pocket here. Carl Messi, 213-2002. Valid and active warrants. All right. Uh, you have anything on you that's going to poke me, stick me? You made a terrible decision today to flee and elude law enforcement. And you have a firearm on you. That's not good. And fentanyl. There it is. I mean, what are you doing, dude? Just hanging around? You're just hanging around, really? Okay. What the hell, dude? All right, let's... uh. Try, oh, hold on, hold on, let me grab, let me, let me release him. He's gonna get tased. You're gonna get tased! Oh, no! <laughs> I was trying to tase the guy and I, okay. Well, we're gonna act like that didn't happen. Let's tend to him and then, yeah, well, the magic of editing, I'm gonna cut right back to, uh, uh, if he's alive. Let's hope he's alive. And now stop the pet's not gonna work. Uh, let's get an ambulance for him. Requesting paramedics, US Route 68. I don't know if they will take him, though. Um, well, we'll call transport for him. Jeez, they are still going after everyone, and now we're not going to... Well, we could probably still write up his arrest report. He'll, we have his information. We'll put it in the computer and uh, see if we can. I don't know if the ambulance will actually take him. I don't know. We'll see. But I, I, this, this was so stupid. Yeah, okay. So Yeah, go ahead and take him. I got to get... Yeah. I'm the idiot, actually. I, I hit him instead of tased the other guy that was running by. Oh, my God. We are off to a rusty start right here. And I crashed into this guardrail. My car. I see the perp. We're in pursuit. Well, now he's, he's probably not going to show up in the computer now. Uh, no, he is. Okay. Let's write up his arrest report really quick. Uh, it's going to be um, resisting obstruction, attempt to flee loot on foot. Um, I don't know if he's at fault in the accident or what. Um, let's submit that really quick. Does he have a weapons? No, he does not have a gun permit. So that's going to be unlawful possession of a firearm. We'll do misdemeanor because uh, fleeing and looting on foot is misdemeanor. So he's lucky about that. So two misdemeanor charges for him. We'll check his court case at the end of the episode. But we got to go after... The vehicle accident is still back there, but they're still actively after this guy over here.
It's all the backup we have. We need some more backup, man. It's an active day here in uh, Blaine County today. Holy crap. Yeah, I really did not mean to knock that guy out. That really put a hinder on things. Oh, they got him. Hell yeah. All right. So that's it. Uh, there were three of them. But, yeah, okay. Apprehended. We got all three of them. Great. So they'll take care of that person. Um, and uh, they'll, they'll, we'll just role play it that they're going to take care of the accident. But uh, at least we got one arrest. And then we knocked him out. <laughs> it is what it is. Oh, you know what? I'm just now realizing we did not charge that guy with fentanyl. I doubt he's still in the system. Let's check. I highly doubt it. Let's see. Fingers crossed. Nope. Damn it. And we charged him with um, misdemeanor possession of a firearm when it could have been felony because possession of fentanyl is a felony. So that sucks. He got away with that. But uh, damn. Yeah, I was playing uh, GTA 5 last night on my PS5, and I know people are probably going to give me shit for this, but I like playing it in fidelity mode, okay? I, I know I don't get the 60 frames per second, but fidelity mode looks absolutely beautiful on the PS5. I mean, the ray tracing, the reflections in the rain, and things like that. I really wish I could make my GTA look like that on PC, but I, I know if I did, my PC is not... It's not high-end, okay? It probably was when it came out. I think this PC came out in 2014. Um, so it's good to run GTA 5, but if we're going to enhance it at all, this PC might explode. But uh, I'm, you know, I'm grateful and thankful that I have this PC and I'm able to do this um, nonetheless. So, but I mean, it looks great in fidelity mode on PS5. And it just makes me think, like, I, I was watch, like I was playing it while it was raining, and the rain reflections looked amazing. And it, it just gets me excited for GTA 6 and how absolutely stunning the visuals are going to be in that game. Oh, watch out, dog. Don't get hit. Oh, he's going after his dog. Hey, get, get back over here, boy. <laughs> I'm not going to give him any shit for that. He's going after his dog. Didn't want him to get hit. <laughs> I don't blame him. Look at those jets flying in formation. That's absolutely insane. Stolen bike. Oh, shit. One Adam 6, you can show me in route. Okay, it's going to have us go this way. All right. Respond to the scene and locate the stolen motorcycle. All right, yeah. So we're responding code 3 now to a stolen motorcycle. We're going to go ahead and see what this is all about. I don't know if there is a uh, individual on this bike or what. Oh, there it is. That's it right there. Yeah, we have eyes on the bike now. He's heading uh, to Joshua Road. He's heading towards Sandy Shores. It's going to be uh, northbound. Let me turn off their tactics because if you don't do that, they will GTA 5. Like how the cops chase you in regular GTA 5, that, that's what's going to happen. And we do not want them pitting a motorcycle. That's just not going to happen. Uh, can we get more backup? High rates of speed. We're heading eastbound West Joshua Road. Now heading towards Sandy Shores. Oh my god. 1050 up here. Okay, okay. Come on, guys. What are you doing? It's not rocket science. Still continuing uh, on West Joshua Road. Um, my backup units keep crashing and causing more chaos than the guy in the motorcycle. Oh, that guy got pinged for possible warrant back there, but we are in an active pursuit now, so. Well over 100 miles per hour uh, eastbound East Joshua Road. Uh, passing, we just passed Sandy Shores. We're going to be heading... Um, towards U.S. Route 13. We got some uh, dash cam footage here. Suspects, okay. Backup is 
crashing into people. S suspects crossing over to U.S. Route 13. We are now on, uh... I don't even know what this road is called. I gotta get... <laughs> See, uh, Union Road, that's right. Jeez. I'm driving all over the place. Whoops, I did not mean to pause. All right, we're uh, north on uh, Union Road. He's making a right. Oh, he's crossing over um, Grapeseed Avenue onto uh, Union Road again. Heading over, uh, crossing over U.S. Route 13. He's making a left onto U.S. Uh, Route 13 now on southbound. But yeah, we are southbound U.S. Route 13 uh, right now. High rates of speed. Traffic conditions are light. All right, we are finally, slowly but surely, catching up to him here. There's nothing we can do. We can't pit him. I mean, uh, we, we can't pit a bike, man. Uh, uh, we, we just can't do that. What are you going to do? Get spike strips? In real life, his tires would blow and he'd fly off. We're still continuing. We're passing the U-Tool now on uh, US Route 13, uh, southbound. Speeds are about 80, 80 miles per hour. Suspect's coming to us. He, he's slowing down. Uh, speeding back up. Speeds are about 60 right now, 60, 70 miles per hour. US Route 13, southbound, passing uh, Bolingbroke mm -hmm. Penitentiary. We'll be uh, Los Santos County uh, jurisdiction momentarily. So yeah, it, it, this is probably going to get into uh, Los Santos County, and we'll call back up. Requesting air support. Since it's, uh, since it's getting dark, we're going to call air support um, and get a spotlight on him. Because if he goes down a road or uh, goes down an alleyway when we get into the city, yeah, so that's going to happen. I guarantee it. We're uh, south, Interstate 1 now, Los Santos County. Requesting backup. I guarantee it's still going to be Blaine County that responds. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's kind of brake checking me here. Speed's about six. Oh, okay, why are you rear-ending me? Whoa, dude. Speed's about 70, 80 miles per hour. Still south, Interstate 1. We're in uh, Vinewood Hills area now, passing the casino. Oh my god, dude. Okay, you want to take primary? Go ahead. Still south, Interstate 1. Now we're on uh, Strawberry Avenue in the city and be uh, downtown textile city, Metro Los Santos. Requesting uh, backup. We need more backup. Like I said, there, we, we can't pit him. We're going to have to wait until he either crashes or uh, decides to get off his bike. We're uh, westbound Vespucci Boulevard now, uh, Pillbox Hill, Metro Los Santos. Okay, you guys just don't know how to drive, do you? I only got one, uh, two units with me. We're still westbound Vespucci Boulevard. High rates of speed down Vespucci here. Okay, yeah, he almost crashed there. Oh my god, dude, this is a pursuit from hell. Oh, jeez, I he literally, like, I wasn't paying attention. He made a right turn. We're uh, south Ginger Street now.
We need more backup, man. Let's do it that way so we can get quite a few backup units involved here. We're, uh, South Rockford Drive. Whoa, dude, don't hit me. He's making a right onto, uh, Greenwich Parkway. Heading towards, uh, the Los Santos International Airport now. Oh my god, massive 1050. Roll EMS down here on Greenwich Parkway for a black vehicle. Um, and an SUV. This cop doesn't know, doesn't know how to drive. We're still, uh, Greenwich Parkway here. High rates of speed. I don't know if he plans on going to the airport or what, but, oh, I, I just caught some air there. He's making a left onto, uh... I'm not sure of the road name here, and we're gonna have to wait until we're on it here. Just made a left onto... Whoa! North Exceptionalist's Way. I'm trying to do a million things at once. I'm looking at the uh, road name, driving, and... Yeah, so, yeah, we're uh, left onto Autopia Parkway, northbound. He's back on, uh, he made a right onto Greenwich Parkway. Goodness gracious, man. This is an absolutely crazy pursuit. Holy shit. Alright, we're gonna get more backup involved here because I don't know, they keep crashing or something and they don't know how to drive. Yeah, look at this LSPD unit. Cr crashing into the wrong people, dude. Are you drunk? Suspects continuing. Uh, we're Innocence Boulevard now. Holy smokes, dude. What do you do in a situation like this? Okay, dude. You, you, you people do not know how to drive! Where did you go to the academy? Please tell- okay, brake checking me, dude. He's going down an alleyway now. We're, uh, in Strawberry. He's come to a stop. He's- Get off the bike! You're gonna get tased. There it is. Alright, I'm going in for the arrest, alright? It's me. I'm going in for the arrest. Nobody else. Get on the ground now. You are going to jail. Alright, we have him detained here in uh, Power Street in Strawberry. Behind this, uh... I think we're behind a uh, garage of some sort. Some auto place. Yeah. Yeah, dude, what the hell were you thinking? Le leading us on a massive pursuit. Starting it. Okay, you don't know how to drive. I'm gonna shoot you in the face, dude. Can we get a pet check on uh, Corvo Atano, 11-13-1979? Valid. Alright, so you're valid, no active warrants. Why are you running? Let's see, what what do you have on you? Dad gum. Dad gum. Get the hell out of my way, dude. I'm trying to check him, uh, check him here. A vibrator and a wallet. Dude, there is no way you are running for... There's got to be something on his bike then. Or maybe he chucked it when we were... Uh, chasing after him. I want to put you in the back of my car for right now, but uh, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can and will be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, one will be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand these rights? Yeah, I get it. Okay. I'm going to put him in the back of my car for right now. And I know I said we won't check motorcycles and mopeds and things like that. Oh, that's right. The bike's stolen. That's why it's running. I'm a complete idiot. I mean, it's led us on this massive pursuit, and I'm forgetting. So, yeah, the bike is stolen. Let's get a vehicle check here. It should come back stolen. Okay. Uh, what? No flags? What do you mean? 
I'm on it. Okay. Well, we're gonna search the bike. I know I said that I wouldn't search bikes, but um, maybe there's something in a, in like a crevice here. And like, if we find a baggie of meth or something, you know, you never know. So let's just see. Okay, nothing of interest. Um, let's check his information in the computer here really quick. And double check the bike in the computer as well. Maybe it'll say that it's stolen in our CompuLite here. Dude, I don't know what the hell you were thinking, but you led us on a massive pursuit. Starting in Blaine County, now we're all the way down here. Uh, the vehicle was reported stolen. It's not stolen in our system yet, but... I think we're going to charge him with it. It's, it's, j it, I mean, that's what the call out was for, okay? So, I think that's, we're going to charge him with, uh, Grand Theft Auto. Because that's what the call out was for, right? The guy probably called us and said, hey, my bike was stolen, but it's just not showing up stolen in our system yet. So, he's getting Grand Theft Auto. It's as simple as that. All right, so, uh, two felony charges tonight, man. Uh, Grand Theft Auto and fleeing your attempt to elude law enforcement. Mm -hmm. Um, prob actually... Probably multiple citations, too, honestly. Um, Operation Criminal, I mean, reckless driving, um, speeding, well, excessive, well over um, 30 miles per hour. Uh, the list goes on and on, dude. I mean, leaving the scene of an accident, I, I'm not going to tack that on my law enforcement officers. Uh, fellow deputies, they uh, crashed into multiple people and fled the scene, so... Yeah. <laughs> Submit those citations. We'll check his court case at the end of the episode. But holy crap, dude. What a crazy pursuit. All right. So uh, one of them is going to take him in for booking. Makes sense. Blaine County is going to take him back to Blaine County because this is that's where uh, this uh, call originated. We'll get the vehicle towed here. And get back on patrol. All right, we are back on patrol here in Sandy Shores. That was a crazy pursuit. Um, it has me attached to this call out back there that I didn't want to do. And then I said code four and it still has me attached to it. But uh, it is what it is. Um, oh, we have possible prostitution here. Let's go ahead and uh, make contact and talk to her. See what's going on. She's kind of just uh, flaunting herself. Oh, she must have been a ghost. She's gone. That's weird. Very interesting. All right. I hate when it does that. And, you know, I show the scene code for usually. We've got oh, my God. One Adam six. Show me in route. Okay. So it's not. Okay, dude. Come on. Fucking idiot. I ain't dealing with stupid right now. Okay, so luckily when I took that call out, it made that other one disappear. And I'm seeing cars disappear a lot. That van just disappeared. I don't know what's going on with uh, my GTA 5. It's probably going to stop working one day. I guarantee it. All right, uh, we are en route to an active shooter in Harmony. Oh my god. We should definitely grab our rifle before we arrive, right? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, God. Okay, we're gonna, yeah, grab rifle. Because every time I get into a shootout, I gotta use my handgun because I forget to grab my rifle. But this time, we are prepared. We have armor. We're good. Fingers crossed, this does not go super south. It will for the shooter. Unless we lose, you know, fellow law enforcement. There's always someone up to no good here at the uh, Dollar Pills Plaza here in Harmony. Oh yeah, shots fired. Shots fired. Oh yeah, we're already getting shot to hell. Where are they? Yeah, right there. I see him. That's it. Is he down? Stop traffic, US Route 68. I mean, I, I know he's down, but I meant to say, is there anybody else? Securing the body now. Walking up. Walking up. 
Grabbing his weapon. Grabs weapon. He's down. He's down. Hey Requesting paramedics. U.S. Route 68. Let's go ahead and uh, search his body here. I got you covered. See why he... Maybe... I, I don't know. Maybe he had a warrant. Some drugs. Who knows why he decided to start shooting at us. Uh, screwdriver, knuckle dusters. His name is David Marley. There goes my window. <laughs> uh, he's valid. He has a gun permit. Uh, no active warrants. No probation. No parole. Uh, he has one citation record. And that was a violation of right away. I mean, nothing even crazy. He has no arrest what? record. This... Uh, I don't know what... Made him decide to, to... To start shooting at law enforcement. Or start shooting... Here at the uh, Dollar Pills Plaza, but unfortunately, he lost his life because of it. We're requesting coroner, U.S. Route 68. Uh, there we go. Okay, yeah, he's coming now. The uh, green blip on my map. Uh, I don't know why he's way over there. Let's try to insta pop him here. There we go. Good job. Okay, no, no, no. You you did good. You you were you were doing good, and then. Okay. Dude, why do you gotta park right there? Yeah, so he's dead. The ambulance couldn't uh, fix him. Fix him. <laughs> Resuscitate him. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the coroner is uh, going to take care of his body here. And unfortunately, he lost his life. But that's going to do it for this episode of LSPDFR. Let's go ahead and check our court cases. You guys are pretty much good to go. The scene's clear. But uh, we'll see who takes the crown for this episode. Well, that guy, definitely. He's dead. Anybody that dies, I mean, they take the crown. Okay? doesn't matter if you get 50 years, 70 years, 2 years in prison. Alright. This guy's dead. So he takes the crown. But uh, we'll check who takes the uh, prison crown. <laughs> okay, do you know how to drive, dude? Show the scene code for. Absolute idiots. Okay, uh, court cases. So we got Carl Messi attempted to flee a loot on foot. And then he got a citation uh, for unlawful possession. Oh, he got charged with unlawful possession of a firearm. Sorry. And then I forgot to charge him with uh, fentanyl, which sucks. But he got uh, no prison time for the attempt to flee a loot on foot. He got fined $157. The ambulance keeps hitting people, uh, doing the complete opposite of what they're supposed to do. Um, misdemeanor unlawful possession of a firearm. I guarantee he did not get prison time. No prison time. $288. So damn. I meant to charge him with fentanyl. He would have definitely gotten prison time. And it would have been a felony possession of firearm. Uh, we'll delete those out of here. He got no prison time. But this guy fleeing an attempt to elude law enforcement. And then Grand Theft Auto... Uh, five years in prison. Okay. So, and then charged $1,815. And then he got cited for unlawful speed over 30 miles per hour. And then reckless driving. Both arrestable offenses. F uh, fined $904. But yeah. Those are the court cases. And that will do it for this episode of LSPDFR. If you enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.